Hello, so today we're going to be looking at a French armoured fighting vehicle helmet, or one designed for tank crews, and I can't find much information on these helmets. Loads of them have turned up on UK eBay at the moment for sale, but it's hard to find like a Wikipedia page or anything like that that gives you a load of info on them. So if you look at the Soviet tank helmet in the background there, it's that sort of thing, except this one doesn't have radio communications equipment or sort of ear defenders built into it. The Soviet ones had the ear defenders and sort of radio equipment built into it that went over the ears and the throat microphones would go down below. The French ones seem to be basically a design where you would put the headphones on as an additional piece of protection or, you know, whatever. So, let's get these. So there we go, that's the actual thing on. So it reminds me a bit of those sort of rugby helmets or American football helmets you sometimes see where they're obviously designed to protect your head from impacts. And this would be very good at protecting the head from impacts. It's a bit better than the Soviet helmet in that regard. It feels like it's got some kind of hard material in there. I don't think it's plastic, but it could be. But I assume it's like some sort of very thick card. And then it's got this kind of lever or fake lever sort of design bit around it. So to do the helmet up, you get the chin cup, you put it there. There's a little buckle here. You feed that buckle through. You pull that tight and then you just go back over it with there, and then that's the helmet done up. Now, this is actually pretty comfortable. Now, I've actually got some ear defenders, so I wonder if these will go on over the top of it. Let's just see if I can adjust these down. Obviously, these aren't French issue ones, but yeah, they're pretty much on. They're not all that comfortable, but I imagine with a different type of ear defender, that would work fine. So yeah, radio communications equipment and all that could certainly work like that. Out of interest, I wonder if you could put the headphones on underneath and then this would go over the top. Let's have a look. I'll also show you the inside of that. So it looks like it's got a partially adjustable liner in there, but as you can see, it's mostly just sort of Velcro-y type bits for adjusting sort of bits. So if I open that bit up there, a bit of dust coming out, you can see the sort of inside of the helmet. So again, that's just sort of created a bit more room in there. I don't know, can you take this bit completely out? Looks like you can. So yeah, if you wanted to, you could take that inner liner out, which would give you a bit more space in there. Um, probably a bit less comfortable though, but let's have a go. So if I put the ear defenders on, now if I um, get the helmet on, will that go, or will it not fit? I don't think that's going to fit like that, unfortunately. I'll just see if I, without putting my head in, if there's a way of squeezing the ear defenders through the holes. Again, bear in mind, these ear defenders I've got are not military ones, they are just sort of standard civilian ear defenders. So it could be the French obviously have a set of ear defender type things which fit exactly with the um, helmet, which I guess would be the case. But as I said, I don't have that, so... Now, unfortunately, it seems like um, these aren't going to fit all that well with it, but... Again, they're not the military issue ones. So, let me put this on. So, yeah, if you don't have the liner in, it's not really all that less comfortable. It's just obviously the Velcro is exposed. But obviously with this liner, I'm guessing you could use this to adjust, um, in a sense, the tightness. Because obviously the liner goes on your head like that. And then um, that attaches. Some ones as well, they have like the winter and the summer ones. So it might be this is the summer one, although this would be a bit thin. It wouldn't give you any protection from banging your head. Because obviously it's just sort of, maybe it's for washing or whatever. You can take this out and wash it. So let me put that back in. So what I'm going to have to do is just line all this up again. So, um, you know, the Velcro bits attach to the bits they're meant to attach to. But that's actually quite easy to do with this because it's a fabric. You just literally stretch the bits to where you want to attach the Velcro. And you're good to go. So some of the bits are a bit easier to do than others because obviously due to the age of this, um, some of the bits of Velcro aren't quite sticky enough. But there we go, that's roughly right, as you can see. The back bits come off, but that is how it's meant to go on. So what I'll just do is stick some other bits of Velcro on, there we go. And that is pretty much right, it's not exact, but it does mean that when I put this back on, the bits line up, and as I push my head into it, yeah, it's kind of disattached some bits and reattached other bits, so. There we are. But that's back as it was, roughly. Just those bits aren't quite lined up. So, it looks like there's a slightly adjustable thing on the outside, so let's have a look at that. Because, 
as this has no radio communications or anything built into it, there's not too much you can say about it. Uh, but saying that, this literally doesn't attach to anything. So maybe it's for a wire to tuck it behind your head or something. But yeah, this is quite a nice thing if you wanted a hard hat style thing. Obviously I wouldn't recommend this for construction style stuff. But these are very good as sort of equivalent of bump caps or whatever. Especially if you can get these for like £20 on the surplus market. Um, it seems to be, I'd say, better quality materials than the Soviet style one. That's an East German one there. The problem I had with that is it's the fake leather stuff they put on the East German one. It constantly peels off and like sheds its skin everywhere. Um, but yeah, this is quite nice in all honesty. I don't know if it's real leather or fake leather, but yeah, it's sort of a dark green, quite nice leather material. Again, some cracking to the outside, but not all too bad considering this is probably something from like the 1970s to fairly modern. The French also have some more military style armoured fighting vehicle helmets, but this is clearly not one of those, so I assume this is one that probably has now come out of service because they're replacing them with more of the, you know, actual military style helmets um, for tank crews rather than actually just giving them the kind of bump protection caps. Because for those of you that don't know, the whole purpose of things like this in tank crews is it was discovered in World War II that tank crews that didn't have helmets like this had much higher casualty rates because if there was an impact that shook the tank or just from people standing up and sitting down too quickly they could bang their head on the metal and you know cause head injuries or head trauma or potentially even kill yourself from banging your head too hard on metal. So the whole point of these is that when you've got something like this on it protects your head from um, you know protects you from smashing your skull in basically on a bit of a tank especially if it, the tank went over a bump and your head went like that and then bashed into something. So it's like an impact helmet really. So it offers no protection for ballistics or anything like that but it's quite a cool thing for it. It's actually very comfortable. If I manage to get the liner back in properly at some point it will be very very comfortable. But as it stands, yeah, I like it. Again, as I said, the only annoying thing is my ear defenders don't fit with it but again I'm not going to be wearing this in an actual tank. Um, I'm just going to fully extend my ear defenders and just try it again, just in case I can get them over, but I think that's probably going to be unlikely. But let's just have one more go. Because as I said, there, they almost go over, but not quite. I don't know if... I suppose, yeah, you could turn them at a bit of an angle, and then they'd be totally over. Because it sounds like it's totally blocking my sound off, but yeah. But there you go. French tank helmet. Pretty cool thing. Um, and as I said, it's just something that's turning up cheaply on the surplus market now. And, you know, for it is, they're quite cool. Because lots of people seem to like tank helmets. But unfortunately, the Soviet, East German and Warsaw Pact ones sometimes are quite expensive. So if you wanted something similar that, you know, didn't cost as much, then these might be an option. But bear in mind, obviously, this doesn't have communications equipment built into it. One of the cool things of the Soviet one is the microphones and headset are actually all built into the helmet itself. 